Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So in this video, I just want to show you briefly how unbelievably stupid mainstream mathematics lecturers and teachers are and how they've missed the point. They've missed the entire idea of what was written in the elements. So these are new trigonometric formulas that are closed form, which I revealed recently to the world. <clears throat> and if, for example, I try to find the arc sign, in other words, uh, this blue line over this vertical line here, then I have a problem because the arc sign formula has 2x squared minus 1 in the denominator. So if I put 1 over root 2 in here, then this is not defined. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. <clears throat> um, it's defined geometrically. It's just that algebra has these issues because algebra treats 0 as a number instead of a placeholder, which is what it should have always been. <clears throat> so the idiots in mainstream academia, think of zero as a number. It's not a number of any kind. It's a placeholder. And you can't do any of the arithmetic operations with zero because none of them are defined in geometry. And I think a lot of people already know about my famous article called Theory of Fractions from Book 5 for Dummies. That explains to you how all the operations of arithmetic are done in geometry using ratios of magnitudes. So a number comes from ratio, okay? We get numbers from the measure of ratios. <clears throat> and you can learn more about that in my free ebook called The Ultimate Book of Numbers, to which I'll place a link. So as you can see, if I put uh, 1 over square root 2 in here, it's not going to work, okay? So what do I do? I have to change that form. So... What I can do is I take the <clears throat> function that I came up with, which is this one here, and then multiply uh, the numerator so that I can, in other words, I, it's called rationalizing the numerator in, in the mainstream, so that I can get a, an expression, this one here, this one here where I'm pointing, where if I put 1 over square root 2, it's not going to, uh, tell me it's not going to be undefined. So, and of course, that helps because I get the exact answer, which is a half. So, if I go back here and <clears throat> I look at this, um, it's defined in geometry, but in algebra, it's not. Can you see that? Can you see why this is a problem? It's because this means the factor that you'd like to get rid of hasn't been cancelled out. And you can either find an alternate form or throw your hands up in the air, okay? So <clears throat> what mainstream academics tend to do is they start off with something like x squared minus 1, this one here, x squared minus 1, over x minus 1. And then they raise their arms in alarm. x cannot be equal to 1. What an idiotic statement to make. Yes. Why is it idiotic? Because if you start out with x plus 1, and you multiply through by x minus 1 over x minus 1, you will get this expression here. But multiplying by x minus 1 over x minus 1 can only mean the same as multiplying by 1. It cannot mean anything else. So if x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 is a number, it must consist of numbers. Therefore, x squared minus 1 over 0 is not a number, you morons. <clears throat> Do you understand that? You cannot put 0 in there. You cannot. And if you say x cannot be 1, you are saying that you cannot put 0 in there, but you still have a problem. You're saying that it's not defined there, but it is. x plus 1 is what happens when you cancel out these factors. So morons and idiots like Professor Jack Hazinger um, doesn't understand these things. So what you're doing is you're undefining it and arriving at its product with 1. How stupid are you? When you multiply an expression by 1, it doesn't change the expression. That's one of the many issues of algebra. There are many more, by the way. 
And of course, this never happened in ancient Greece because they didn't have zero magnitudes. So when you look at this sine, arc sine function here, or inverse sine function, you'll see that it's defined when x is equal to 1 over square root 2, and that makes perfect sense because it's just this blue line over this vertical line here, okay? So um, there's also the popular example of sine x over x. It is defined when x is equal to 0 because the factor x cancels out. And you can see that very easily with my closed form formula here, which is sine 0 over 0, <clears throat> the same as sine 0 over 0, and you can see that it equals to 0. Okay, so notice that 0 means no number. Okay, it is not valid in geometry to perform this operation. It's totally invalid. I mean, if you put a 0 out there, it, you're not doing anything. You're just saying there's no number. <clears throat> so... Basically, you can fix uh, ignorance, but you can't fix stupidity. And there is so much of that in the mainstream. So I wanted to just share this with you. Um, I'll place a link to <clears throat> the articles and the presentation. If you're not already a subscriber, become one. Click like. I have many enemies in the mainstream. They would love to see me dead, basically. I actually get lots of comments saying to me that they'd like to see me dead. But I've got news for them. I'll probably be around for a long, long time still. Uh, that's just too bad. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> tell your friends about it. Become a follower in academia. And also remember that all my videos are backed up to Odyssey in case YouTube decides to shut down my channel, which they've tried before and they have done. And it looks like they're going that direction. So make sure you save the link to Odyssey. My name is John Gabriel. This is New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.